Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Kingdom of Georgia campaign for Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. And in the last episode, we finally managed to stagger into Belgorod, which is our home away from home for the time being. Uh, we have decided to abandon all of our territory in the south to get away from the Mongol incursion here. You can see that they are looting and pillaging their way through. Trebizond is the next to fall, as well as uh, Maletia. I think it's how you pronounce it. They've also got a rebellion going on. And then hopefully the Mongols will just slam into the Ayyubid Sultanate, allowing us to build up and go after the Tsardom of Bulgaria. Now, I don't know if they are allied to anyone. I think that we checked that in the last episode, and they were. Yeah, the Empire of Nicaea. So that is a bit of a problem, and I think the Empire of Nicaea already doesn't like me very much. Yeah. And their strength rank uh, is 11 right now. I don't know, maybe the Mongols by that time will have come over here and maybe dealt some pretty heavy blows uh, to them. We've also got some uh, Georgian pretenders that have uh, rebelled here. But right now we're just going to rebuild our forces and then decide what to do next. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so they're not going to trade with us, which is unfortunate. Uh, Non-aggression pact, uh, not interested. Is there anyone else that is willing to trade besides them? No, there is not. Now, Bulgaria's strength rank 13, so they're actually even stronger. Oh, no, they're not as strong as the Empire of Nicaea, but they are quite strong. And I think they've already taken uh, this out. So I believe I was sending my priest over there just to kind of scout ahead. We might be able to push into Hungary if we need to. Or maybe we'll just turn on uh, the Cumans, uh, since they're already dealing with uh, the Mongols. However, they're still strength rank 9. They're a lot stronger than us at the moment. Now, we've got a good war chest here to build up uh, Bilgorod to be kind of a, a stalwart defense for us. Uh, and we will be building some more uh, troops as well. We've got 1,100 uh, at the moment that we can put in uh, to our troops uh, the income will probably allow us to get what one or two units of spearmen maybe and that's about it but we just don't have the uh, population at the moment to get any of them uh, we've got uh, 15 we've got a 17 stack though so that could definitely do some damage uh, if we came down over this way I just want to see who's here who's here and then possibly some other territories over here if we can maybe get uh, the Zardom of Bulgaria out by striking one of their territories and then meeting their army in the field because they probably only have one maybe one and a half stacks is what I'm thinking but uh, the rest of this is going to fall relatively soon however uh, Tbilisi at the moment is only making us 180 so we'll still be positive and this will make us 275 and that's the last two that we have over here so uh, we'll still be in the positives for now and as I said we'll just continue building up uh, the uh, haven in the north I guess is what we'll call it but yes I don't know who the Empire of Nicaea is at war with uh, I guess we could check with Bulgaria. Okay, so they're at war with these guys. Uh, they're at war with Thessalonica, which I, uh, is right here at Thessaly. They're at war with uh, Cilicia, which is down here. And the Latin Empire, which I believe is over here as well. So uh, maybe they'll be busy elsewhere. That's probably most of the same that they're at war with as well. Yeah, except Nicaea is at war with Trebizond. Very good. Okay, so uh, huge... Uh, tumultuous melting pot here. Everybody is at war with everybody over here, so we're going to try and capitalize on that. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, just end the turn. Oh, actually, we could assign a provincial governor. Uh, we don't care about that, so let's go ahead and end. We will just be throwing a statesman to his death uh, if we put him in as a governor over there. But as I said, the new objective of this campaign is to now reconquer our long-lost territory. So we'll kind of work our way down into uh, northern Greece, and then come across in Asia Minor, and then uh, back into the fertile homelands of the Kingdom of Georgia. I don't know why they're not attacking Tbilisi, though. Kind of makes me reg <laughs> regret destroying every single building that we had there, but... And they're still sieging D uh, Divin down That's your command. instead of going after us. Noble birth, though. So uh, as we flee from our homeland, there is uh, a bit of 
uh, I guess, a silver lining, you could say. So we've got uh, two sons here. Another son born in exile, uh, Merub. I wish we could rename them. That would be cool. And then uh, this guy, my brother, he has two sons and then a bastard son. But, yeah, I wonder if we could adopt any of these guys. So who is this? A statesman, statesman, statesman. He's quite loyal. So we could adopt him, maybe. Now we've got this guy, Governor. Yeah, let's try and adopt this guy, I guess. Because we don't really need any more influence at the moment. So let's do that. And then this guy here. Once he has enough influence, we'll try and uh, get him to adopt someone as well. Good. Okay, so you can come out of we Force March. For and you're replenishing just fine. Can't get any more troops at the moment. And we finished this, I believe. So we should probably go so we can get up to level 3 with our town. Patron's Palace City Gardens. Or actually getting the level 3 port would be good too. Yeah, so let's, let's go for the level 3 port, because this is already at level 2. Let's see how we need... Oh, we need those, yeah, to get all the way over there. Uh, what if we were... This is fishing docks at the moment, to convert this to the trading docks. Uh, we need that, yeah, good, okay. So we're already headed in the right direction there. Still positive, as far as our public order goes. Uh, for our expenses, we're doing well there. Still 1145 a turn. Ready for battle. And you have leveled up. So. Uh, getting more authority would be good. But we probably want to get down to legend. Uh, what does zeal do? Cooldown rate. Okay. Public order govern. Yes, yeah, so we want more cunning for him, really. So we go, uh, yeah, we can't go to that just yet. Uh, what is this here? Morale when defending. Uh, that could be useful. Uh, recruitment cost is good. Oh, campaign movement range. Yeah, for sure. We should definitely get that. And you, sir, are general. Get the we do that. Is that increasing? Change for turn? It is. Perfect. And priest. Come on over. I need some intel. I'm actually glad I recruited him. Uh, and the priest, too, if I recall... Uh, which which ones... Or is it the champions that, that give us reduced upkeep costs? I don't know if we can get any yet. Uh, or maybe it is the, the priests. Uh, if we take a look here. Reduced upkeep costs or something. Yeah, these are mostly good for having in your province... Uh, we will want to. We will want to deploy him in our province for sure. Because he's got a lot of good bonuses. Because yeah, more cunning he gets. Ancient action cost. Campaign movement range. Yeah, because he's got spread religion plus eight, and then if we get the minus ten percent corruption, and then plop him there, because we've got. If we look at our income currently, we've got minus six corruption, so that would actually mitigate our corruption altogether, maybe? Or it would be 10% off that minus six. But yeah, good. Yeah, you come up over here, and that'll take a few more turns. And we are building... How much food do we have here? 50 food. So it's 37. Do we have anything else here that would be providing us with food? I don't think so. Wish we could just abandon this. Although I guess if they leave it alone, it's at minus 30 already because <laughs> of this here and we have nothing to mitigate that with. Uh, it's going down quite a bit as far as uh, the, uh, the public order goes. So we'll probably have a rebellion there eventually. Yeah, we're pretty much, like, completely 
wiped out, so we'll just wait until they take it. I don't think that's giving us much food, no, so we still should be positive by, by plus 20. And then once we lose that other settlement, we'll actually be up, which is good. Uh, so once that's done, uh, are we focusing a lot on growth here? We are. And fertility is average, so we'll want to probably get uh, the candle, the beeswax in here for extra trade. And we'll also want to get in some farms. Uh, so we could change this to a mercantile port. And this going up to a large city, we'll want to get the... Uh, next level of that, but that's going to be 20 turns. So, yeah, we, I feel like we're going to have to blast through a lot of turns here. But all the while, we're building up that war chest, which is what we need. So we'll be able to get a lot of troops eventually, which is fantastic. And if we get one and a half stacks, I feel pretty comfortable with going after Bulgaria. Might see if we can get the Cumans to trade us Sakeva as well. Although I doubt they'll be down for that. We don't really have that much. Get out of here. <laughs> don't give me trade. And then they expect me to give them 2,100. Yes, Mongols. Just keep going. Keep spreading yourselves thin. That's what I like to see. Enjoy this quiet time. They've declared war on me? Uh, whatever. That's fine. I'm nowhere near them anyways, so... Ah, oh, no! We're losing a lot of our power. That was... Oh, it was rejected! So he actually... The adoption wasn't completed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we could get some gather support, I guess. Well, yeah, these guys are very unloyal. Wonder if she can try and assassinate. Because they're just statesmen now. They're, they're not governors anymore. So we'll try and assassinate him. Although, did she have enough to... I mean, we could try a, a securing loyalty, but... They're quite influential. Yeah, more influential than the ruler is, is an issue. It's 25, or... How much is this? Yeah, let's try and get rid of you, and then you can try and... Yeah, we don't want to... Don't want to waste any more of our influence. I serve you? I have done my duty. Yeah, so Bulgaria definitely owns this. And who owns this here? The Kipchaks. Do we have military access with them? We have non aggression. Not going to give us military access, eh? Okay, we'll probably have to trespass then, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll take a look. We could already see uh, a little bit of what Tarnovo has. So maybe if we can do a quick strike on that while their armies aren't here, that could be good. I wonder, once we finish this, are we going to be able to get a priest? Because I think we're building the wrong one, aren't we? Well, it's giving us food and sanitation, which is very good. Yeah, that's that's not bad. So two turns till that's done, then three for that. Uh, how much food is this giving us over top of that? An extra 20, so we'll be up to 62, and then we'll be down to only plus two uh, once that goes up. Okay. So yeah, we might be negative in the old food front. But I just wish these guys would uh, take that. Um... Does anyone want to trade regions? Uh, let's see. Bulgaria. Trade regions. Uh, what is this one? This one. 
No. Okay. So they have, they have at least three territories then. Because it doesn't... Oh, no, they have four. So they have this one. This one. And then... Scopey. So yeah, they've got these four. So that could actually be good if we go to war with them. That, that could be a lot of good territory for us. Problem is, is that we kind of need Sakeva. My ancestors and people expect talk with purpose and honesty. Yeah, we kind of need Sakeva, otherwise we're going to be a bit of a divided kingdom here. But I might be able to take Kaffa if, if Trebizond loses that, but it is a risk because that's kind of drawing them this way. And I don't really want uh, to do that. Okay, we do have a little bit more to get some more spearmen, so we've got enough manpower for another one. So let's throw one in. And then I might... Uh, put all of the army with him even though he's kind of crap because getting some or maybe I'll just bring him along then as like a second general yeah so I want to see what their strength is before we decide what we're doing I could obviously just sail down the river and that will uh, avoid the uh, trespassing penalties that we'd get uh, against the cumans but, I mean, if I declare war on them, are they really going to have troops to send towards me? Probably, actually. The AI. AI doesn't attack the AI very much. It, it seems to focus on the human player quite a bit, so I don't know if I want to add another powerful enemy to my ranks. They just refuse to take uh, our main city, though. That's so weird. Wavering loyalty. An unfortunate injury. Assassinate was a failure. Target was wounded. However, there were no witnesses ensuring nothing leads back to you. Nice. But that didn't help me because... <laughs> because he's still unloyal. So you're... You're a governor, so you should be... Actually up here. And you as the general are there, which is good. I mean, I could put this guy in a higher state, which would might make him happier. And maybe not him. All right, so let's see. What do they have? Hopefully it's a... Pretty easy garrison. Uh, yeah, that is doable. So we could sail down here, declare war. Uh, let's just kind of get an eye on where their where their armies are. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good to deal with that. I don't like these kind of trash spears that I have, though. I would like to convert them to other spears, like the Cartlian spearmen would be good. Commander. And the Svanian Hunters are quite good. Oh, it's such so unfortunate that I lost all my other Lancers, though. Good. One turn till that's done. Can you guys just take Tbilisi, please? Like, just take it out. Are these guys, like, taking attrition, like, or something? I don't know. They're definitely not replenishing, which is good. Finally, they took it. Okay. Good. Now maybe they'll feel strong enough to actually go after Tbilisi. 
Oh, Georgian pretenders are coming into siege. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna auto resolve it because I don't want to hang on to it anymore. It's costing me 30 food. Only 100 income, anyways. <laughs> of course we won. I'll take the money. Value of the plunder. Oh boy. Quarasmian Empire is destroyed. F's in the comments. Defeat for the Crusaders. Office secured. Hopefully that... Did that make him more loyal? Or... A little bit. This guy's no longer disloyal. I guess he's learned from being wounded. Good, good, good. Alright, so we're still at 33. And this here... Uh, I think that goes from 30 to 60, so we still should be positive on the food front. Uh, I could get another Zvanian Hunter at 225, but I think I'd rather get the Spearman in instead. At your command. We're pretty much at full health at as well. Service. Excuse me. Okay, so there, there's Sredits. Relatively strong garrison and, and a 9 stack. And what's up here? That is Serbia. For those of you who haven't watched my Kingdom of Serbia campaign, that was a very fun campaign. See, so yeah, I think their other army must be over here because there was nothing at Tarnovo. So I might actually strike at this uh, while I have the chance. So how many do I have here? 15. Ready for battle. So let's... Yeah, let's go for it now while we can. Advance. Because it's going to take us a few turns to get over there. Now, will it still be positive? Oh, no. The public order will be bad. What if I turn this down? Still positive there. And it's plus one. And can I take him with me? No. So he'll have to stay there to hold down things. But an 18 stack here, I'm pretty confident with that. So, yeah, let's sail it... I guess, over to here. In fact, can we force march onto land? We can. Uh, they probably didn't like that. Uh, trespassing, yeah. So they probably... Probably not impressed with that. But we've got to do what we got to do. Yeah, they're deteriorating, but that's fine. 17. So, yeah, they're, they're a lot stronger than us, which is a bit of a worry. But if we could take this to gain some extra money and then take out this 9 stack, siege this, take that, then they might actually be... be out. And we've got a lot of money, so if we have to go negative, we, we have the ability to do that. And yeah, you're just going to hold down the fort for now. He can actually uh, build a few more uh, troops for us. And then uh, reinforce if we need it uh, once everything is under control there at Bilgorod. Next turn, it might actually be a lot better just because we've got it up to the level 2 settlement building, which does offer a bit more public order. And I think we just need to deal with the conversion aspects, too. That is a little bit of an issue. Oh my gosh, guys. It's it's literally there for the taking. I'm basically... I'm thinking of just reinvesting in it if you're not going in. My master prays that you see opportunity in this conflict and that you will aid... What?! How are you at war with the Duchy of Lesser Poland from down there? That's weird. Okay, we're losing a bit of income there. Let's push them away. I don't know how it's offering that much income. Where it was minus 200, now it's plus 400 from a... 
Oh, what's this? Venice and Icea. Good. That will distract them. Uh, Serbia and Croatia are at war. So, yeah. Okay, just keep distracting the uh, Tsardom of Bulgaria. Uh, seriously, is that all I can move? Okay, that's fine, I guess. If I force march, might be able to strike it next turn. We're not taking any attrition, which is fine. Okay, so yeah, you come down here. So how many did you get? Up to 12, that's fine. And there's Scopy. So where the heck is their, their other army here? And how defensible is that? I mean, that's pretty defensible, actually. All of them are walled settlements, too, as uh, if you guys remember. So we will have to deal with that. But, I mean, that was like 8 plus 12, so it would be 20. 20 versus 18, so that would be difficult. I wish I had a catapult so I could go in right away. Uh, it's still plus 1. Yeah, we're just trying to get the growth. and We don't have any wealth from commerce, but the growth is helpful. And Orthodox Christianity is 72%, so what's... Religious differences is minus three. Events is minus three. Difficulty. So you can't really do anything about that. But political situation. Public order is stabilizing. So that's good. And yet we can get some more here. And we can't afford it. But I guess we'll wait. And then we'll see if we can take this without them moving in. Because can they reach that in one turn? I doubt that they can. Because is that... A bridge? Yeah, that is a bridge, so they might be able to reach it in one turn, but if not, we'll be able to take that and then maybe defend against them. They've got, like, militia spears, militia archers, so they're not going to be anything too crazy. And all of this is orthodox as well, so it sh we should be able to assimilate it uh, quite easily. Which is fantastic. Is there anybody else that wants to treat with me? Tortured pretenders. Maybe we could peace out with them. No. Uh, you guys want peace? Yulis of Jochi is 31 strength rank. They're almost as weak as we are. Yeah, look how broken they are. Maybe we will actually come back here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should we maybe deal with Bulgaria and then try and come back uh, right away? Or should we just stick with our original plan of, of pushing through Asia Minor and then and then coming back this way? Because, yeah, it looks like they're really struggling over here. So we might be able to take Bata, can take uh, Kirtasi back, Tbilisi, Divin. Uh, Arbadil, unfortunately, we did lose because we gave uh, that away. But Tabriz was, was taken. So we could pretty much gain back all of our territory. But uh, I'm going to stick on this course for now. Let's do uh, one more end turn, maybe uh, hit these guys. I don't think we'll get a battle in this episode, but uh, we'll sure be set up for one in the next episode. And unassigned skill for the governor. Uh, public order. Is there anything to get extra public order? Can get minus... 20% construction. A little bit extra tax rate, but that's only 20 per turn. So, yeah, let's go for that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that he can benefit from here. Ooh, yes. Put that in for sure. Uh, we'll give him plus 10 armor. And actually, let's see if uh, he can get anything. He's got plus 20% armor. Armor for spear infantry units. Let's get that in. And extra armor for the commander's unit there. And then you, general, can have armor. Uh, battle run speed. And morale. Good.
Oh, this is so risky. If I lose this armor, I am... Or, sorry, if I lose this army, I am in big trouble. Really gonna... Struggle. We know that wealth can be a burden. Will you not allow us to lighten your load a little? It just... It just makes me laugh that as soon as you get a good amount of income, uh, everybody just asks for things. No, you can have a non-aggression pact, and I will give you 300, and that's it. And I don't even want to do that. Yeah, get out of here. Probably getting destroyed by the Kingdom of Nicaea anyways. Whoa, uh, hopefully they'll lose Trebizond too. I actually would love to go and take that. Uh, Lithuania was destroyed, probably by Poland. Let's push them away again, so we continue making money. Not going to repair that at all. And let's see. Okay, so what are they up to now? 15. Yeah, so they're definitely marshalling their strength. But that is undefended, so... Nice, Trebizond joined. And we'll have to get a couple of siege towers. And a ram, maybe. We could get all that in one turn, which is fantastic. And we will be able to push in. And take that out. Now, as I said, this is the only army that I can see from them. I don't think there's anything over at Tarnovo. But, I mean, if they bring the 15 stack over here, we'll have to break off and challenge the, just the army in the field. Because that'd be 25 versus 18. This isn't even a full stack, so... Yeah, probably not a good idea. Uh, let's see... I, wonder, I can never remember why these guys are better when they don't look as heavily armored. Got more melee attack, more melee defense. These guys have more armor. Yeah, I think I prefer the Cartlian Spears, to be honest. Good. We're still positive with our food. Which is fantastic. We've got disease over here now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so bad. So bad. Uh, is Trebizond, like, surviving here? They are just holding on. Oh, they've also got an army over here as well, which is raiding. Looks like uh, raiding the uh, Sultanate of Rum. I'm assuming that's one of their last settlements. Uh, we are at war with Nicaea, but the Latin Empire actually holds uh, Constantinople and Sisychus. Uh, so Nicaea probably owns some territory over here. So, Bulgaria looks like they will be on their own. So, let's do one more uh, end turn just to see what this army does. I don't think that they're training anymore. So, let's see what happens. I'm praying for a break here. I just hope that Bulgaria doesn't reinforce this so we can at least take the settlement. That might give us enough income to get two extra units. And then we could maybe ambush and try and catch their army. Please don't come over here. Please, please don't reach in one turn. Don't. No, no. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, man. There's no way I'll be able to win against all this. Militia spears, militia archers. Ah. Oh. Well, we might have to pull back from this. I don't know if I'm willing to risk uh, it with this type of battle. Uh, they've even got more men than us uh, with just their main army, not to mention the uh, garrison coming in. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, but that's where we're going to leave it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.